Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at fractions, decimals, percents, and roundings, and I'm mainly going to show you how to use this Desmos calculator on the right. So we're going to start out with some fractions first. Let's read about fractions. So to convert fractions to a decimal, you are going to divide the numerator by the denominator, basically the number on top divided by the number on the bottom. And then if we are converting a decimal to a fraction, you can use a calculator for that. Remember, you are allowed to use a calculator for everything in eighth grade, so that's why I'm using the calculator for this. Okay, and then once we get our decimal, there's two types of decimals you can get. You can get a terminating decimal, which are numbers that stop. So the decimal stops after a certain point. And then you can also get repeating decimals that repeat forever. And you'll see those, they don't stop. Okay, so let's convert this decimal or this fraction to a decimal and then we will talk about rounding. So I need to convert this to a decimal. I'm going to do 3 divided by 8 in Desmos and I get 0 0.375 and that decimal stops so I know it's terminating. Okay, now let's talk about rounding it. So let's review rounding up here. So to round, remember you're going to look at the number directly behind the place value that you're rounding to. So if we were rounding to the tenths, we would look at this number to see what to round that 7 to. And if we were rounding to the hundredths, then we would look at the third number to see what to round this to. If the number is less than 5, then the number you're rounding to stays the same. If it is 5 or gra greater, then we need to round up. So let's look at what's going on with our first number here, 0 0.0375. And I need to round to the nearest hundredths. If you forget, you can look up here at our place value. Hundredths is the second number. So that means I'm rounding to this place right here. And the number after it is 5, so that means I need to round the 7 up. So 0 0.375 round to the nearest hundredth is 0 0.38. All right, let's look at our next example. I need to convert this number to a decimal, decide if it's terminating or repeating, and then round it. So I'm going to start by doing 9 divided by 4. There's my decimal, 2.25. That obviously stops after the 5, so it's going to be terminating. And then I need to round it to the nearest tenth place, which is this 2 right here. Since there's a 5 after the 2, I need to round that 2 up, so it's going to be 2.3. So 9 fourths rounded to the nearest tenths is 2.3. Okay, let's look at our next fraction that I want to convert to a decimal. 2 ninths. So I'm going to do 2 divided by 9 in my calculator and I get 0 0.22222 and it does not look like it's going to stop. So this is going to be an example of a repeating uh, decimal. And I need to round to the nearest tenth on this one and there's a 2 after it so it's going to stay the same. So 2 ninths rounded to the nearest tenth is 0 0.2. Okay, let's look at number 4, 10 11 so I'm going to do 10 divided by 11, and I get 0 0.909090, and it looks like that just keeps on repeating, so this is a repeating decimal. It was 0 0.9090, and so on. And I need to round to the nearest hundredths, which is the second number. After the 0, I have a 9, so that means I need to move the 0 up 1 to round it correctly. So 10 elevenths, to, or rounded to the nearest hundredths, is 0 0.91. Okay, now I have a percent, and I need to convert it to a decimal. So let's go read about percents. Percents, if you remember, are part out of 100. To convert a percent to a decimal, all you're going to do is divide it by 100. And you can use your calculator for that. So 65%, I'm going to do 65 divided by 100 to get that decimal. 65 divided by 100 is 0 0.65. That stops, so it's terminating. 
and I need to round it to the nearest tenth, which is that six. And since there's a five after the six, I'll round the six up. So 65% rounded to the nearest tenth is 0 0.7. Okay, another percent, it says convert it to a decimal. I know that there's a decimal in the percent, but since it has that percent sign, we still need to divide it by 100. That means it's out of 100, so we're going to divide it by 100. So 12.3 divided by 100, I get... 0.123, which that stops, so it's terminating, and now I need to round it to the nearest hundredth. Two is in the hundredths place, and there's a three after, so the two will stay the same. So that number rounded to the nearest hundredths place is 0 0.12. Okay, last thing I need to do is convert this decimal to a fraction, which I already told you that the Desmos calculator can do that for you, and let me show you how. 0 0.05, and then this little fraction symbol to the very right of this bar, you press that and it tells you the fraction. So 0 0.05 is equivalent to 1 20th. Okay, now I have another decimal to convert to a fraction, 8.125. Hit the little fraction symbol and it is equivalent to 65 over 8. Okay, you might be asking yourself why is she not changing it to a mixed number? That's an improper fraction. Improper fractions are okay. In fact, in your upper level math classes, improper fractions are a lot easier to deal with when we're manipulating equations. So most of the time we will keep our fractions as improper fractions this year. Okay, I hope that helped you learn a little bit about the Desmos calculator.